Okay, screeners, you can see it. The T-shirts are on. The clock is going backwards, not forwards, because we are going back in time to celebrate a film released this week and discuss how good or how bad it was a few decades ago. Yes, it's time for a classic movie review right here on the Silver Screen Dudes. And look, you've all seen the title of this video, so you know what the movie is. But as I say to you guys every single week, AJ goes into these videos blind. I find the movies and find out how old they are. We've gone back as far as 60 years and we've gone back as not far as 10 years. And it's just getting that instant first time reaction. Sometimes it, uh, AJ puts me in an awkward position where he hasn't seen the movie and I've got to kind of fill in the blanks and then the show takes on a different vibe. I worry that kind of might be the case today, but we'll see. Um, AJ, we're not going back too far though, mon ami. We're going back. Just, just for the record, guys, if it is your first time, we move in decades. So if you think like, oh my God, this one was at least five years ago. Why aren't you talking about it? We no. will do it five years time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and beyond. Um, cool. AJ, uh, not a particularly big one. L let me bring it up and then I'll give you the preamble about it. Let's see if you've even seen it. 10 years old this week, AJ, is Need for Speed with Aaron Paul Dominic Cooper and an early pre fame role for Rami Malek. Did you see this thing? We're in one of these positions, aren't we? <laughs> you know the funny thing about this one? You know we played it just how good or just how bad it was? Mm -hmm. Memory tells me I watched it on Sky when it came on, but it's completely forgettable. And that's what I think is the problem. I'm like... I You've probably seen it. it then. You've probably <laughs> seen it then. Because <laughs> I'm like, I know. I know it's not just the trailer. I rem I'm sure I've sat down to this, but beginning, middle or end, does not exist to me right now, which is sad because the video game is absolutely amazing. However, some of them are, some of them are amazing. Correct. And this, okay. So this movie deserves credit for one thing, which is it was the first, well, not the first one of the first video game movie adaptations to not be complete trash. But in the year 2024, when we've just come off last year of having Gran Turismo. Now, if you ask me, I'm more of a Need for Speed guy than a Gran Turismo guy if I'm playing the game. That's right. Right. I much prefer arcade to simulation when it comes to racing racing games. Um, but Gran Turismo had a really interesting story to it. Need for Speed, it was kind of just like the most cookie-cutter, vanilla ice cream, beige paint, meh, revenge story slapped with a video game license so this is very much one of those we're grading on a curve here because by video game standards it's not bad but it's just so beige I it's think it so also, forgettable it's also one of those things that you are also being 10 years old you're also in the same realm with fast and furious maybe four to five like there's five, been a few games out by this point Right, and so do you get what I'm trying to say? Five, you know what I mean? There's been a few Need for Speed movies released already <laughs> before being called Need for Speed. So when you come out and you're trying to be different, but you're just the B-Tech, even though you are technically the original, it was mm. in a bad place. But we digress. It got a few things right. Like, it, it kind of did something clever, which is it took it, not in terms of the story, but it took certain beats from multiple need for speeds like there's a whole part in the movie where they're customizing their cars so it's like okay cool shout out to need for speed underground and then there's these quite elaborate police chases and it's like okay cool shout out to need for speed most wanted or hot pursuit and then there's these other parts where the <laughs> the cars crash in a for lack of a better word this is getting very video game geeky here in a very criterion games way it's like oh yes these guys used to make burnout didn't they now they went and made need for speed games shout out to the criterion era of need for speed it was just things they did where i was like yeah if i'm really down with need for speed which i was i was like there's some appreciation i can get here i kind of feel bad for aaron paul because he was just coming off the back of breaking bad you know and everyone was like, oh, this kid's freaking great. And then he went and did this. And what's Aaron Paul done since? Not very much in the way of anything. Mm. Literally, where, where is Aaron Paul? 
it's mad, isn't it? Like Brian Cranston has become a household name now. He's everywhere. He's not. I, I don't think he's cemented himself as a leading man. Although he did Trumbo, which was good. But Aaron Paul never really broke out after Breaking Bad. He, bit here and there, but he just... Listen, he's got generational wealth. He's fine. But he's not become a household name. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You, It's just a weird one to say. Do you, would you like to see the trailer to see how, see how this thing has or hasn't aged? Is that a yes or is that a no, Mr. AJ? I, I, I'm sitting back. I, I'm more intrigued of like, let me see if I remember anything. Sorry. I'm just really thrown by this one. Yo. In a I world. spent two years thinking about one moment. He set me up. Shout out to the Criterion Collection. In our world, you always go back. He just left him there. That's what I can't forgive. You don't do that to family. Yo, team, I'm really happy at home. We miss you, brother. We some celebrating. Call up some females. Do you know any? Pretty Rami much. Malik, look at that. What are you thinking, Toby? Let's Let's remove this away. Away. For life. It's time we make him pay. But first, we're gonna need a fast car. Y'all ready? We're doing this. Yeah, okay. shout out to Infus Speed Underground. Racing is an art. Revenge will surely come. I like the fact that they got news in there, but all of these shots, they put Michael Keaton in there to add it to the name. I think that's Toby Marshall driving the chariot of the gods. I'm willing to give six million dollars to anyone who puts a stop to him. Shout out to him. We'll settle this behind the wheel. It just is the element of speed, well, I'll give it that. Yeah. It's quick. But yeah, you know, the underground thing when you put on the nitrous and it goes... Uh, it's got some stuff to it. All swirling together. There's an APB out for your arrest in 10 states. Maybe we should nice. rethink the plan. I'm never going to stop. Out of your mind. <laughs> I love it. There we go. So look, you, you can see what I mean by it just feels that you said it actually. It's utterly freaking forgettable. Yeah. Everything, yeah. there's nothing bad with it. There's no no inherent cheese. It's got some nice nods of the hat to the video games. But it's like everything we've seen here, we've seen done better and we've seen done a million times before. This was the problem. I think this is the biggest problem. You're going to, it was right movie, wrong time. Because had they released this and then every Fast and Furious came out, then it would be like, okay, they got their inspiration. As, we always, as we've always said, it, you know, even when they'd done the car reveal, it's like, I'm sure that was in Fast and Furious. That's really wrong. Like you pictured a game, but you're also featuring that. So it's it's really just unfortunate. I think right movie, wrong time. And yeah, that that's that's literally it's it's um downfall, really. Speaking of up or down, what are you giving this? I'll give it a one fun. I'll give it a one fun in, in the sense that it's not if you tick the boxes of what's a good movie versus a bad movie, it has nothing wrong. You, your words as well. It has nothing wrong. It does what it does to represent the video game, which again, as we started off the show, it does recognize the video game. It's not a bad video game movie. So mm. yes, it's there, but is it must see? No, because you've probably seen it a hundred times before, but if you're looking for something of the car world, go for it. So yeah, one fun for me. I'm not going to hate on it. I can't uh, really. On the basis that it's forgettable, I can't give it a, a, a thumbs up. It gets it gets in me. Oh, if that exists, then yes, I thought we we're just up or down. In, in which case, yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah, yeah. half half a thumb. Uh, you know, safe two and a half star movie, a five out of ten. Not completely inoffensive, but 
I've, I've said before, and I think you agree, a movie's greatest sin can be that it's completely forgettable. Even yeah. bad movies have a certain charm to them. Tommy Wiseau, looking at you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know. That's it from us. Uh, so how good or bad was Need for Speed? Meh. <laughs> that's, <it. laughs> that's our final thoughts um what did you guys think of need for speed did you even see it i don't think this movie made a lot of money leave your thoughts in your comments down below like the video if you haven't done so already subscribe to this on the screen dude's youtube channel and we will see you right here for another classic movie review very soon bye for now see ya, see ya.